Kumar Joshi from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. In continuation with our topic on technical writing, today we are going to talk about yet another written communication that is agenda and minutes of meeting. Now what is an agenda of meeting? Agenda talks about the plan of your meeting. Now in an organization, when you have to work on a particular project with a group of people, then you need to get suggestions or you need to set out some plan about who is going to do what and how the activities are going to be carried out. So for that purpose, every person who is involved in a particular work or a project needs to meet and that is why organizational meetings are there. But before the organizational meetings are there, we need to prepare a plan for that meeting because meetings are very very important in organizations. The future actions and decisions depend on what is being discussed in the meeting. And for that purpose, it is very important that even a meeting is planned properly and a particular structure is decided of what to discuss in the meeting and what and how much time to be given to each topic. So that is called an agenda of meeting. For that purpose, let us understand what are the advantages of a well-written agenda. So first of all, if you write the agenda of a meeting properly, then it helps the convener to know what should be achieved out of the meeting. Because every meeting has a purpose, the convener or the person who is conducting the meeting should know that what is the end result that they want out of the meeting or at the end of the meeting. For example, whether you want to take a particular decision or whether you want to just take suggestions, what is the outcome that you want? The convener will be clear after seeing the agenda. Secondly, the participants are also well prepared, which in turn saves a lot of time. So for example, if many people are called for the meeting without giving the agenda, then they will all come with a blank mind. But when an agenda is given or when the plan of the meeting is given, when the objective of meeting is told beforehand to the participants, then they are well prepared they have something in their minds what they want to what they want to share about the topic and that is why it saves a lot of time during the meeting so that is another advantage of well written agenda the third advantage is that it prevents the meeting from from going out of the track so now when we say that there is a well written agenda that means we have a list of topics that we are going to discuss it has a particular plan of the meeting. When we follow a particular plan, then it avoids going out of the track. The moment you go out of the track, the moment the discussion goes out of the track, the convener comes to know that this is something which was not included in the agenda and can stop the discussion at that particular moment. So again, it saves a lot of time and energy. Next, it acts as a roadmap for a smooth flow of ideas. By now, after studying so much about communication, we already know that a clear flow of ideas is very, very helpful when we want to understand a particular concept. So if the flow of idea is there and if there is a connectivity of ideas, then everyone will be clear in their mind. So if you have a particular agenda, which is well written, then it will act as a roadmap and there will be a smooth flow of ideas without going here and there. When there is a smooth flow of ideas, the topic and, and the discussion will not go here and there and the people involved in the meeting will have clear idea about the thoughts that are being shared during the meeting. Now the next advantage of a well written agenda is that Participants can request 
to add any point if it is required. Now, why this happens? Because agenda is written and then it is always sent to the participants before the meeting. So when the participants read the agenda, they come to know that this is the objective and some few points are going to be discussed. And if they feel that there is one more point which needs to be added or which needs to be discussed in the meeting, they can request the organizer of the meeting or the convener of the meeting to add that point. So this is again going to help out a lot when, and when one more point which was missed out is added to the agenda. So these are the advantages of well-written agenda. Now let us see how to write an effective agenda or how to make an effective agenda. What to do when we want to write an effective agenda. Now it is very obvious that agenda seems to be a very simple document or a very simple written communication but there are few points which are fine points and they have to be taken care of so that you are able to write effective agenda. So first of all you must take care is that always follow a simple format. So in writing an agenda we, we did not follow some complicated format like a technical report or a proposal but it is just a list of topics. So just write down give numbers to the topics and write down the list along with the timings. So there is no need to use any complicated format when we write an agenda. Secondly include the name of the organization, the name of the meeting, okay, what meeting it is, whether it is a sales meeting, a marketing meeting, production meeting, what meeting it is, write down the name of the meeting, write down the day on, the, on which the meeting is going to be held, the time of the meeting, from and to time, that is how much time it will take, the participants will also come to know about it, and the venue, and the venue where the meeting is going to take place. So the agenda starts with all these information. Now this follows by a list of topics along with the time which has to be given to each topic. Now we decide the time of the meeting. For example, maybe the meeting will be carried on for one hour or two hours or maybe half an hour. But then in that half an hour or one hour or in that full time, how much time should be given to each topic is also a very important aspect. Each topic has its own importance and each topic has its own issues and concerns. So depending on that, the person who is writing the agenda must take care about the time which is allotted to each topic. So agenda also includes the time which is allotted to each topic. Next, you should mention clear action points. Now, when we say clear action points, means is the meeting only for a discussion purpose, just to share the ideas and get more knowledge? Or you are trying to develop something out of the new ideas? Do you want to develop something new? Or you want to come to a particular decision? What is the action point that is going to be implemented in the meeting. That is very important. You should have a clear idea because a discussion is a separate thing and coming to a decision is a separate thing. When we discuss to come, come to a decision, that means there is an end result. But when you only want to discuss, then there may not be any end result. There may only be the sharing of the ideas. So this is how if you have the clear action points then the convener will know that how to go about the discussion. Last but not the least, send the agenda well in advance. Now this is a very important thing. Agenda is not written just for the convener or the organizer of the meeting. Agenda is written so that the participants can add their points. The participants can come up with some ideas. The participants can be ready for what is going to be discussed and that is why it has to be sent well in advance. So that is a very important point. Otherwise there is no meaning to the agenda. 
So this is how you write agenda, which is very, very simple. But clarity is very important when you write an agenda. Now let us discuss about minutes of meeting. Now what is a minutes of meeting? Now the minutes of meeting is a detailed record of what, of what has been discussed in a particular meeting. And this minutes of meeting acts as a guidance for some future action or for some future decisions. So that is why the minutes of meeting should be accurate and in detail. Now who writes the minutes of meeting? So the minutes of meeting is written by someone who is the participant of the meeting or there is one more person, maybe the secretary or someone who sits there and attends the meeting just to write down the minutes of meeting. So whoever writes down the minutes of meeting must take care that it is accurate and in detail. But then while the meeting is going on, it is very difficult to write down something in detail because people are going to discuss impromptu and people will speak whatever comes into their mind. So what to write and how to write is very very important. So let us see how to write the minutes of meeting. So first of all, in the minutes of meeting, you should write the date of the meeting and the objective of the meeting. What is the objective of the meeting? What you want to achieve after the meeting has to be written as a heading. Now this needs to be followed by the names of the attendees. It is very very important to list down the names of the people who have attended the meeting. Then you must write down the priority list. That what is the priority of this meeting. Or in other words you have to repeat the agenda. Again in the minutes of meeting, you have to write down what was the agenda, what were the topics you were going to discuss, what was the original priority list that you have to mention. So these three things, first of all, you have to write down. Now, what you have to write down is notes. Noting down what is being discussed. Now when you note down, you have to take care about one thing. Don't write every sentence that a person speaks word to word. Only write a few words or write some points from which one can understand. Later on, this minutes of meeting can be written in detail. But at that point of time, during the run time, you must always write down in small points. So notes has to be written and notes are something which is being discussed. Next, you have to write down the action points and their deadlines. Now whenever any meeting takes place, it is very obvious that there will be some future action point which the participants will arrive at. Like uh, after a few days you need to do this thing or after a few days you have to complete this particular task. So you have to list down all the tasks or all the action points which is being decided in the meeting along with its deadlines. Again, if each task is being assigned or it is decided who is going to do it, then also write down the name of the person who will be responsible for that task. And then, lastly, you must also write down the parking of the ideas. Definitely in many meetings, when you discuss something, when people come along and they discuss, there will be some points for which the solutions will not be arrived at immediately. And you may have to carry out more and more meetings or some future discussion with others and then again you may have to meet and then carry on further with the actions. So there will be some ideas which remains unanswered or which remains half discussed, which needs to be discussed again later on. So those ideas can be parked. They can be parked. That means as of now, they are not resolved. Secondly, as of now, they are not of much of priority and they are not directly related to the objective of this particular meeting. Then you will park your ideas. Parking of ideas means later on you will have a look, of, look at those ideas and then you will do something about that. 
So this is how you write down the minutes of meeting. Now to, to make this simple, a person who has to write down minutes of meeting should do one thing. You should carry a diary and you should divide your page into different parts. You already know the date and the objective of the meeting. You know the attendees. The moment you enter the room and the meeting starts, you will write down the attendees. So make a, you know, make a column where you will write down the attendees. Write down the priority list also. Now these three things like notes, action points and parking ideas will happen while the meeting is going on. So divide some three different parts. There has to be a separate parking ideas part. There, there has to be a separate action point part and separate notes. This will help you a lot in clear writing of your minutes of meeting. When you do so, when you separate these parts, you will really be able to write effective minutes of meeting. So this is how agenda and minutes of meeting, though being very, very simple written communication, are of high importance because actually they act as certain documents and particularly minutes of meeting are act as a document which is followed for some future reference. The future actions are dependent on the minutes of meeting and how effective a meeting occurs depends on the agenda and hence agenda and minutes of meeting are very very important. So I hope you have understood how to write the agenda of meeting and minutes of meeting. Thank you.